back everyone today let us see an interesting case of the week which is a classic case again so let us go with the case a 38 year old female came with complaints of headache and clinical examination showed papilledema this is the axial t2 weighted mr image at the level of orbits this is the coronal t2 fat sat image of orbits and this is the mr venogram and this is sagittal t1 weighted image so you can just pause the video for a while and have a look at the findings and you can come to conclusion based on the findings so let us go with the discussion of the findings so the axial t2 weighted image you can see bilateral optic nerves are tortuous and you can see the prominent subarachnoid space even on the coronal images you can see the thickness of the subarachnoid space is increased on coronal t2 fat sat and on mr venogram you can see a narrowing of bilateral transverse sinus at the groove where it's going to form a sigmoid sinus you can see the narrowing which is a typical finding and you can see the empty cella so presence of empty cella prominent dilated tortuous optic nerves with dilated subarachnoid space and bilateral travenous sinus tra of or transverse sinus narrowing is all these features will suggest a benign intracranial hypertension there was no any other mass lesion in the brain parenchyma or posterior fossa and this is a classic case of benign intracranial hypertension let us see few salient features of benign intracranial hypertension when do we call it as benign intracranial hypertension or idiopathic intracranial hypertension raised icp where there is no causative mass or hydrocephalus and it's more commonly seen in middle aged obese females and the most common complaint is severe headache with visual complaints and the pathophysiology of benign intracranial hypertension is still an enigma and it's poorly understood still it's they, they are not able to come to conclusion what is the cause for this benign intracranial hypertension various hypotheses have been postulated but it's not proved and coming to mr imaging findings prominent subarachnoid space around the optic nerves vertical tortuosity of the optic nerves empty cella enlarged mechal cave and bilateral venous sinus stenosis which is a very important finding always advise uh, mr venogram to look for this finding if you have a clinical suspicion of benign intracranial hypertension when you see the other findings always do an mrv and in severe case of benign intracranial hypertension you can see a quite tonsillar herniation thank you all